and welcome to another episode of Proud Moments in Video Game History. It is I, Dahmer, and his cool stuff. The game in question, 2001's Dark Cloud on the PS2. Tremendous game, yes. Spiritual successor to Act Razor, definitely yes. A game I plucked a lot of time in? Well, let me tell you the story of that. I remember it well. The year was 2001. I was 23. I was living with my girlfriend at the time. I had more hair. I didn't have this stomach. Nickelback had yet to kill music. The PS2 was alive and kicking. And so was Dark Cloud 1. To say I put a lot of time in this game would be an erroneous assumption. A lot of time into this game. My first proud moment was actually beating the game 100% without a strategy guide. Let me explain. Back then, I needed strategy guides to play my RPGs, especially those of the hardcore nature. I was too much of a coward back then, but I don't know what possessed me to not buy the strategy guide for Dark Cloud. Needless to say, after many hours, and finally putting that last piece of Geo-Rama down, did I know that I had completed all five or six cities 100% in the game. Everybody was happy. Birds were loving bees. Dogs were loving cats. The neighbors got along, and everybody was happy the way they were. I had a raging boner. Needless to say, to accomplish this feat, I spent a lot more time in the towns than I actually did in the dungeons. That was until I encountered the Demon Shaft. All 100 levels. The Demon Shaft was a 100 level dungeon. No Giorama bullshit. Just you, a bunch of creatures, and wanton violence. Your reward for beating the Behemoth at the end of level 100 was the Chronicle 2 Sword the greatest sword in the game. Unfortunately, you've beaten the game. You've 100 percent of the game. There's no use for this weapon anymore. As a matter of fact, you could say it's a status object. All you can do after that is replay some dungeons and beat the ever-loving shit out of creatures. It's laughably easy after you have the Chronicle 2 sword, I might add. But still, you've beaten the game. There's nothing left to do.